Hello everyone, it is me again, Mega504 here, and today something a bit, um, interesting. Today I'm going to be playing Code in Game, uh, Code in Game, or a Code Programmer. Basically, it's where you learn coding by trying to make a already pre-built game for you, so... And the goal for my program right now is that on start of each turn during the game, within the game loop, you will attain information of on two enemies, variable one enemy and variable two, technically, distance. So you have distance one and distance two. The so name of enemy one and name of enemy two. Within the game loop, name of enemy one, distance of enemy one, name of enemy two, distance of enemy two. Um, now I literally just booted this up and went through the tutorial, which I didn't really pay much attention to. Also, in the settings, I'm actually able to change the programming language that contributed to Java. I'm actually more used to Java, actually. I've, I've actually started coding at one point. So, what I'm supposed to do is that I'm supposed to pass it, so... Before the turn is over at the end of the loop, you must output the name of the closest enemy using variable 1 or enemy 2, variable enemy 1 or enemy 2, to make a cannon shoot at it, so it's an automatic thing. So, at the end of the loop, it's supposed to be... Okay, so string enemy 1. And next, I don't know how this works, so I'm going to just say 10. And let's see how this goes. No, nothing happened. Hold on, wait. Ten. 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 It's supposed to be an automatic thing, though. I don't know how this works. I don't know how any of it works. Oops. No. Okay, so if I remember correctly, there is supposed to be integers. So that's the integer, and that's next. So that's next variable. Oh, name of enemy one. Buzz. Distance of enemy one. Um, ten. Let's see how this goes then. Nope. Absolutely nothing happened. Failure, you were destroyed. So let me go down here to the console output. So, your output enemy is not one of the remaining ship names. Threat within range, buzz 10. So, buzz 10, right? Um, no, that's not how it works at all. Okay, so, game loop. So, so let me actually test out the comments here. So, write an action using system out dot out dot print ln. Okay. I know how to do this. And it's using the C sharp. It's using the C sharp thing. No, he's using job. What? Okay, so. In the game loop, I'm going to do system dot out dot print line. 
I could just make it a valid string. And to actually print out of this system dot error dot print line comment debug messages now it's a valid statement and let's see how it goes here Okay, so one third person has no ships remaining. System the outprint. You have to out put output the correct ship name to shoot. Oh. That was simple, probably if that's if it works. Please work. Please work. No. What the hell? Oh, we have to reload it. I'm instantly losing because, oh dear. I'm instantly losing because of I'm, I'm, I'm actually killing the ship that's supposed to have hold on wait um I forgot you're meant to put the semicolon at the end of it yeah so what it's basically doing now is that it's using buzz as a shoot point, so it's supposed to be an uh, one would be the enemy one variable. Hmm. Control enters along to the latest test. Nope, it's still dying. Standard error. Standard error. Cannot find symbol system out dot print it's print dot ln <sighs> Okay. So now it's going to Okay, so the output is meant to be because it's already but don't for me, the output is meant to be Buzz. <laughs> now it's currently using. Now to re reconfigure it. Buzz one. No, just buzz. So I win. Yay. Um. You didn't hear that. I have my phone going off. Anyways, now surrounded. Okay, so I'm going to have to do this a lot. Because they, they um, print out at different times, so... What I need is to stop with buzz, because buzz isn't on there anymore. So, bumble boom. Uh, let me scrub back, because you're supposed to. Okay, prickster. Prickster. And needle head uh, 
um, nipper. Okay, we load, we load, the, we, we configure it. That's the wrong one. Okay, I'm going to need because all it is is that it's using comments on the game loop. So but basically, it's the distance is uh, calculated within the game, and the string enemy one, enemy two, and next. It's using the the system print as a as a string as the string input for said thing here that's supposed to destroy things. So stinger. <coughs> ah, mm, sorry about that. And smasher. Smasher. Because what it will do is that it will, it will uh, actually run all of the the uh, lines of code at once because it's in the same, it's the same class, same class body. Because though this is like, this is using Java, so it is using class. Okay, so it will load in that code in game plan is being attacked by slimy insect aliens. Hint to protect planet, you can implement the pseudo code provided in the statement below. The player. So then it uses the class of player using uh, and, and also makes it a uh, defined class using strings by making a public static void, which is meaning that it's a it's a public static variable that has no information in it, I believe. I don't really know what void means. I only know what public static means. That that is an unchangeable class value. So I'm just going to be right back, actually. Ah, now see what we have here is that it's actually, it's actually getting Green Hornet and Bullet and stuff a bit too late. It's because how it works is that when it goes to print, it actually goes down line, 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 line. So I'm going to have to cut this. Paste that. And let's see how that works now. So, reload the solution. And now it will actually go through it one at a time. Now, it's still going through it too, uh, through it too slow. So, what I need to do is... Bullet. So, now, reload the solution again. It should do a bit better. Because it will, it will go through the same things over and over again. So, Thumper has to be directly after Poison. Poison. That's literally what it what it sounds like. So, reload the solution. And now, if I... It's... Why am I losing? Because I don't have the semicolon there. It creates an error. Reload the solution because it, it didn't actually. So, it will do all of this in a sequence. It will also go through the same thing in the same sequence. And I don't have shooter. Okay, so. Shooter. And the class body. Then. Crusher Then Lightning Reload solution And now it will be all groovy Cause it will just do it just in time Oh Lightning pain
for now it should work if I bother to reload the solution. So now if I go ahead and do that, the simulation will run and I'll win. Imminent danger. Yeah, that'll be it for this, because um there isn't really much else to do besides build upon this and make a very, very complex system of stuff. Anyway, that's it for this video and bye.